the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 91, 1 Samuel 11 to 12. Samuel's retirement speech. Thanks to the help, Saul extended to Jabesh Gilead that faced a crisis, Saul earned the people's trust and the royal rule was launched in a full scale. First point, the people of Ammon who were not educated once again besieged Jabesh Gilead. Even after becoming appointed as king, Saul went back to his hometown and went along with his everyday life. But then there was the incident of the people of Ammon besieging Jabesh Gilead. This was the second time they attacked. The first was back in the year of Judges, and the second was this instant. The reason Ammon attacked Jabesh Gilead was because their king misunderstood the historical facts about the land east to the Jordan. When this incident became a serious matter, it was a soul to stand up as the king and make a decision. Second point, Saul used the incident of Jabesh Gilead to kickstart his monarchy. The people of Jabesh Gilead begged to the king of Ammon to save them, offering tribute and also willingly surrendering. But the king of Ammon threatened that he would gouge out all the right eyes of the Jabesh Gilead people. When Saul heard of this, he immediately took his oxen and carried up into twelve and sent it to all the twelve tribes. The catchy phrase Saul sent out was to follow Samuel and Saul. Such excellent leadership brought all the tribes together and they were ultimately able to gain great victory. Third point. The people of Jabesh Gilead remembered the soul's health for a very long time. The people of Jabesh Gilead never forgot the soul's health. This was the message that Saul sent to the people of Jabesh Gilead. By the time the sun is hot tomorrow, you will be rescued. When the people heard this, they were elated. Forty years after this incident, Saul and his three sons were killed and hung on the street. The people of Jabesh Gilead collected all the bodies together and gave them a proper burial. Fourth point, Samuel said his farewell speech in Gilgal. When the time came, Samuel appointed Saul in Gilgal and then retired. He made his final farewell speech in Gilgal. Gilgal was one of the locations where Samuel taught the Mitzvah generation about a kingdom of priests. Gilgal was also the place where Joshua and the people of Israel carried out circumcision during the process of conquering Canaan. Gilgal became the place where the first king of Israel was appointed. Samuel congratulated Saul in becoming king. Samuel also used this opportunity to proclaim to the people that during his leadership, he did not take a single donkey from them in order to be faithful to a kingdom of priests. Fifth point. Samuel once again points out the wrongs of monarchy through the miracle of hail and rain. After proclaiming to the people that he was a fair and righteous leader to them, Samuel went on with the ceremony. Samuel gave a speech 
reminding the people of the past 500 years history of the kingdom of priests and how the people were to remember God's blessings. Next, Samuel told the people that Saul was appointed by God, but he also added that it was wrong of the people to request a king in the first place. Samuel also emphasized to the people that although God had given them a king, they were still to focus on a kingdom of priests and follow in the laws. Otherwise, they would be punished. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biongo Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.